Now, some of your favorite celebs are getting sued because of a possible crypto scam, while Facebook is out stealing top talent from its competitors to build out its metaverse. It's your boy Ross Mack, and these are the biggest crypto stories on Wednesday, January 12th. The Crypto Minute on the Street, presented by Blockchain.com. Now, it's one thing to lose money on an investment, but it's an entirely different thing if your favorite celebrity actually told you to buy something, and then you lose money. And as a result, Kim K, Floyd Mayweather, and Paul Pierce have been named in a lawsuit which actually alleges that they scammed all their followers into investing in Ethereum Max. Now this was the crypto coin that jumped last summer thanks to the celebrity endorsements, but fell from about 1050 all the way down to 150. The lawsuit claims that while regular investors actually bought the Emax coins, the celebs sold all their assets at a profit. The good old pump and dump. Now, we know Floyd is undefeated in the ring, but the courtroom was a way different story. Let's actually see how that works out. Now, Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has been stealing staff from both Microsoft and Apple as the company continues its focus on the metaverse. It was reported by the Wall Street Journal that Meta has been super interested in poaching the employees from Microsoft that worked on the HoloLens AR product. Now, the saying goes, if you can't beat them, then join them. But in this case, just actually steal the best workers from your competitors. Now, the Federal Reserve Chair, Uncle Jerome, has promised politicians on Capitol Hill that the Fed's long-awaited crypto report will be ready in a matter of weeks. The report is expected to focus on the role of the central bank's digital currency, but also look at crypto just in general. Now, if you remember, this was supposed to come out last September. Maybe this would be good timing, too, as the Fed was actually blamed as the root cause for the crypto sell-off this past week. It's your boy Ross Mack, and this was the Crypto Minute on the street. This has been the Street's Crypto Minute presented by Blockchain.com.